Oops. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Yeah. Okay. And so, so uh, the one on the right, that's a baby roof rat. They're about the same age, um, but you can see there are some obvious differences between them. Um, so, like the ears are bigger, um, the eyes are bigger. You know, that guy's got the closed eyes, but anyway, just trust me. <laughs> um, you see the, the hands are, are bigger and you have bigger uh, fingernails and, this, and like, you know, like back paws. Uh, they're much more muscular and they're, so they're better at things like climbing and jumping and stuff like that um, than, uh, than nori rats. That's because nori rats, see they have this little fat body with stubby legs and stuff. They evolved to live in burrows in like uh, kind of like uh, northern China and Mongolia. Whereas roof rats evolved to live in trees in, in South Asia, like in India and stuff. So their body, although they're really closely related, they, they actually have been two separate species for maybe one or 200,000 years, which isn't that long, you know. Um, people have been different from monkeys for like five million years. Um, so these guys, are really close relatives, but their body plans evolved to suit their uh, their their environment, their habitat, and their and you know their lifestyle. So, so Is okay. another video. Another video. So, yeah. For example, okay. Is that one we want to play? What doesn't want to play? That one doesn't want to play. I don't hear that. Huh? Okay, it doesn't want to play. Oh, okay. Well. Really doesn't want to play? All right, bummer. Let's see if that one plays. That All right, one. well, that one plays. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, roof rats are really good at climbing, okay? They can, like, literally climb anything. It's I wanted to show you the other video where they were, like, climbing right up a wall. But is it one, in your... It is. It's, okay. in, it's in the uh, YouTube. Um, so, um, um, but uh, you can see, I mean, they can obviously climb right up you, too. Um, and uh, they like to be up high um, because they are arboreal rats. They prefer to be in high places like your shoulder or, I mean, if any place that's high, like if you had a cat tree, they would climb to the top of the cat tree or whatever. So whenever I let my guys free range, if I don't know where they are, I just look at the tops of things and I'm eventually going to find them. They'll be just like sleeping up there on the top of the shelf. Operating at perfectly get each and every one of you with one This, is your, this is your video. Oh, okay. After that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, there you go. Yeah. See? <laughs> there he goes. Well, <laughs> see, he just, he's like, just. You see how they're using their paws, you know, they, because they have these really strong car paws and kind of sharp nails, they can grip on surfaces that Norway rats could never do. So then he, she, she, this little guy, that's a baby. So he kind of gets to the top, he's like, what am I gonna do now? And he's like, oh, okay, I'll just go there, that's fine. <laughs> okay. So, all right, um, yeah, so go back to the yeah. vision. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that. All right, so, um, so aside from the paws and stuff, uh, the, another big difference is their tails. Roof rats have much uh, longer and more useful tails than Norway rats. Norway rats have these kind of short, fat, stubby tails that can't really do much. But uh, roof rats, um, I mean, their tails are like semi prehensile, like a monkey's tail. You know, so they, you know, and, and it's literally, look, if you look at it, that tail is about as long as the rest of the rat. So that rat is half tail. Um, so they, they use them for a lot of things so they can express their emotions. So just like a cat, they, they wag their tail from side to side. That means they're annoyed or they have it up like that and they're happy and stuff. Um, it helps them stay cool when it's hot out because they lose heat through their tails, because their tail, you know, doesn't have a lot of fur on it, so it radiates heat, and it can do other useful things with their tails, so I hope this thing plays. Uh, Is well. this a video? Uh, the next one, no, no, uh, yeah, that one's a video. Yeah, please play. All right, so you see, 
Oh, it's wrapped around. Yeah, so when I say it's semi-prehensile, it really is just like a monkey's tail. They, they can actually wrap it around things and use it like a fifth paw you know, to help them climb and, and keep them from falling and stuff. So that, so if, if he's, if a rat's a roof rat's afraid of falling, they can use their tail to wrap around a branch or in this case, a, a table leg or something to, you know, to keep themselves from falling. Okay, so, do the next one. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's, here's the other one. So you see, this one feels like she's she's being held upside down, so she feels like she's not like she's kind of out of balance or something. Oops. Oh wow! Sorry. <laughs> okay, so so she can so she's using her tail the same way that somebody like a tightrope walker would use that big pole that they have to kind of help them maintain balance and. Here we're doing a face rub, but you can pull it They like face rub. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, because we felt sorry for her because we did that. So we felt like, oh, it's okay. They can swim. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So here's another cool thing about roof rats. So the roof, so I like trying to introduce her uh, to that cat and she's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> she, she can't swim. <laughs> what? She jumped right in the pool. Did you miss yeah. it? you were a sailor, uh, you wouldn't realize that these rats are really good at swimming. Because in England, they used to call them ship rats. Because this is the kind of rat that would, when, you know, like one of the boats was going to leave the dock or something, the rats would all swim to the boat and hop on and eat all the rain and stuff they had in the boat. You know, so the sailors didn't like that. But that's why um, these rats basically colonize the entire world, because wherever we wherever, wherever we went they went too so they they basically you you could almost say that they self-domesticated themselves because they got so used to being around people that they just you know went in our boats and they and they lived in our houses that's why they're called roof rats um so uh anyway all right so Here's another funny thing about them. This is also uh, one of Walter's videos. Who went along to say Yeah, there's Walter. Okay, so. <laughs> it gets me every time. So basically. Wait, what happened? So oh, yeah. he fell. Yeah. And he got annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's basically like, don't laugh at me. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> I fell in a garbage can. <laughs> I find it hysterical. Yeah, it was, I was. I thought it was very. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. So that's so. Norway rats don't do that. So that's a, that's another thing that some people find surprising about them is when they get annoyed. They they are much more vocal than Norway rats, and they have all these different sounds. And so like in the list of videos, I probably have one of the laughing rat too. Okay. So they'll make, they can make laughing sounds, they can make that sound when they're mad, and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And Norway rats don't do that. They're very quiet, actually. They sometimes squeak, but these guys make all kinds of funny sounds. Um, okay, so yeah, they're fun pets. Um, so they can be intelligent, playful, social. And I mean, just look, see, I, I, when I took this picture with him, look, we have the same expression. <laughs> you know, he's like, how much, I'm like all serious and stuff, and he's like, he's doing the same thing, you know, it's like, because, <laughs> you know, because he's like mirroring me. Um, they're very social animals. So that's, that's actually Peter Cottontail. Do you remember him, John? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll go to the next one. All right. Um, so yeah, you can teach him the tricks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Did the rat come to you when you called its name? He, uh, yeah, Bow Bow absolutely comes to you when you call his name. Yeah. And you can teach them all that too. So you see how I make that noise? Um, because they're very good at hearing those kinds of sounds. So that's a good that's a good way to you know to teach them you know to come to you or something. So whenever you give them a treat, you make that sound. But Bow Bow likes me so much. You notice he went to my hand first. He didn't. I had the, the the almond there. I had to give him the almond because actually he was not coming for the almond. He was coming for me. So once they become kind of bonded with you, just being with you is their own reward. I think I found the one rat giggling. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we have time, we can play that one. All right. All right. But that's kind of long. All right. So here's here's another game you can play. Um, No, that was me uh, looking at the YouTube video. Okay, so you see what I what I did there is I played with the cat and with the rat with the same toy. You So, I mean, people people know that you can play with dogs and cats like that, but did you know you can play with a rat like that too? No, I think you totally can. Yeah. And they kind of do the same things. You know, what was really remarkable is that they, 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 they do the same things. You know, they try to chase after it, they try to grab it and pull it away and all that stuff, just like a cat would do. Um, because, uh, you know, the, it, the, it's, probably, they pro it's probably also, it's play, but also they think of it as like prey, you know? So they try to attack it and catch it and pull it away just like a cat would do. It's the same thing. Um, they literally don't know they're not cats. Okay, so here's another thing you can do. This is an example of how social they are. Um, so basically, I, I kind of pretend that my, my hand is another rat, and I play with him the way a rat would play with him. And he just responds to that. Because he, you know, this, this is Jimmy, I think. Uh oh, what happened? <laughs> I guess I know that, but... Oh, wait. Can we go back? Yeah. yeah. How do you go back? Go backwards. There it is. All right. Yeah. Yeah, because I want I want you guys to see. Um, so. <clears throat> so yeah. So what? So the way that rats kind of play with each other is, you know, they, they try to they try to you know kind of you know like scritch or play fight and stuff like that. And see, he's doing that too. See what he's doing to my finger? He's not biting me. He's um he's kind of like he's playing with me and kind of kind of like grooming me. Or is is it hanging? Is that what? Huh? Is it hanging? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pause. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. So just just because they kind of get you with their mouth, that doesn't mean they're trying to bite you. Um. Because they do that to each other too. Um, they, they kind of play, they play fight a little bit. They try to groom you. So like he sees that you have these little hairs on your finger or maybe under your fingernail. You try to clean under your fingernail. So now I'm, see, I'm, I'm pretending I'm a rat grooming him. So that's so, uh, rats, just like a, a lot of other animals like monkeys and stuff, they, they groom each other and that's how they form social bonds and make friends with each other. So, and now he's going to do the same to me. See, he's grooming me. He's grooming under my finger now because it's dirty. He's like, oh, let me help you with that. <laughs> he's grooming my finger. He's like, oh, that's kind of dirty. Okay, I got to clean my face now. Mm. <laughs> that's gross. Okay, I don't know how long this is. We're um, almost done. We can see the rest of it. It's actually another minute. Oh, is it? Okay, go forward. Okay. <laughs> that's the idea. All right, so, so yeah, so here is, here's an example of, you know how you can like pet a dog or a cat and you like give them little scratch, face scratches and under the ear and all that? Well, you can do the same thing with a rat. See? And they love it. Look at that. They all love it. These are like, these are all different rats. All right, all right. That's a good baby. So it's, it's kind of a skill knowing how to do that exactly right, so they're really, really super happy. Um, so she's really good at it. 
Um, I'm not as good. <laughs> but like, you see, their they're like little, their little ratty hearts just melt. They're like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, and then when they get really happy, they'll do some stuff with their mouth, like kind of like, and, and like, you know, well, I don't know if you can like see. Each other. Can you see how they're yeah. with the little, little mouth, they think the little face and all that. He's so super happy. See that? See? See, he's doing it. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. They're like little babies. Yeah. <laughs> see, and see how see how they kind of tilt their head up like that, so you can really get in there and give them a good scratch. <laughs> see that? <laughs> yeah. So, so I don't know. I mean, do you think this would be a good time, Chong, to uh, like demonstrate this with our rats? If they're in good mood and ready right. for that, well, I, I don't know. <laughs>